Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. In this video, we will set up the functionality to click on recycle view items, so on our news items, and open those up in a web view to be able to save them later. And to do that, we somehow need to transfer our article we clicked on to our article fragment, so we are able to save it later on from the article fragment. And for that, we will need the save args, so the save arguments from the navigation components library, which will enable us to pass arguments to our transitions from one fragment to another. And because our article class is not a primitive data type like int or float or something like that, it is a more complex data type, we need to mark this class as serializable, which tells Kotlin that we want to be able to pass this class between several fragments with the navigation components. So Kotlin will actually do the serialization behind the scenes for us and we don't need to worry about that. And to do that, that is very simple. Let's just open our models folder and go into our article class. And the only thing we need to do here is we need to let this article class inherit from serializable from java.io. And to actually declare this article now as an argument for our article fragment, we need to open up our news nav graph in our res folder navigation news nav graph and make sure to be in the visual mode and not in the XML mode. So open up the visual mode in the top right corner and then we can click on our article fragment and then you can see there is a tab arguments up here and currently we don't have any arguments for that article fragment. To add articles uh, to add arguments we want to click on that plus symbol here and now we can add an argument. First we need to give this argument a name which will just be article. Then we need to select a type for that article and here we can scroll down and select custom serializable so that we tell Android Studio that we want to enter our own object here and you can see our article class appears here because we let that class inherit from serializable. So let's choose that and click on OK and that shouldn't be an array and it also shouldn't be nullable and the default value is also set to no default value so that's fine just click on add now and we're good to go and now we should rebuild our project because then Android Studio will generate some needed classes behind the scenes and when the build is finished we can go into our breaking news fragment we will need to do that for every fragment what we do now go in your on view created function and here we want to add an on item click listener to our news adapter. So news adapter dot set on item click listener. That is our custom function. And as you can see, here we have the article as an argument on which we clicked. So what we will need to do here is we need to take this article, put it into a bundle, then attach this bundle to our navigation components so that the, the navigation components will handle the transition for us and pass the arguments to our article fragment. So first of all, we want to create a bundle. Val bundle is equal to a new bundle and call dot apply after that. And here we want to put a serializable, choose article for the key and pass our article as a parameter. So as a value for that bundle. And that is everything we need to do before our transition, our fragment transition. Now we can just call our find nav controller and call dot navigate and here we can pass a resource ID of an action that we want to perform. So if you remember in our news nav graph if we take a look in the XML view then for each fragment we have an action defined from the breaking news fragment to the article fragment. So inside of our breaking news fragment class we need to pass the ID of that action to perform that navigation from the breaking news fragment to the article fragment. And for the saved news fragment, that is of course a different action than it is saved news fragment to article fragment. So let's go back to our breaking news fragment and pass our r.id.action breaking news fragment to article fragment. And as a second parameter, we can pass our bundle so that we want to attach arguments to our navigation. Then we can copy that block here and paste it for our other fragments. So our search news fragment, import nav controller here. And here we have to swap that action out to action search news fragment to article fragment. And we also need to paste that in our save news fragment class, import that and 
swap that action out for action save news fragment to article fragment and let's also quickly copy that recycler view setup function so this below here and paste it in our save news fragment class import everything replace this recycler view with rv saved news and create a late init var for our news adapter and of course don't forget to call this setup recycler view function that we added below and now we can jump into our article fragment and receive the article that we passed from our three different fragments and that is actually super easy First, we need to get the arguments as a global variable. We write val args, and that is article fragment args. That is a class that navigation components generated for us when we rebuilt that project. And after that, we write by nav args. And we don't need the, that generic type there. Then we can go into on view created and get the current article so the article that was passed as an argument to this article fragment transition by writing um well article is equal to args dot article and there it is and now when we have that article we want to display it in the web view that is inside of this article fragment so we call web view that is the idea of it how i called it and call dot apply afterwards First of all, we want to set a web view client for that to a new web view client that will just make sure that it that the, the page will always load inside of this web view and don't load in the standard browser of the phone. And then we want to call load URL and pass our article dot URL here. And that is everything we need to do. I think those fragment transitions with navigation components are very easy and very easy to pass arguments to that. It's much easier than if you would do it yourself, then you would need to define some interfaces that communicate with each other. That is much easier with those navigation components. So let's actually run our app and try out if everything is working. There we go. Let's click on one of those news. And there we go, a cool transition and our web view opens and we can read the whole article here. So I hope this video helped you to understand navigation components with passing arguments. If so, then please let me know in the comments and leave a like. And if there is anything I can improve on, please let me know that too. That would be really helpful for me. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.